Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Talking About Talking. I'm Dennis Becker. This is my colleague, Lori Schlaff. Hi. We are with the Speech Improvement Company in Boston, Massachusetts, America's oldest speech coaching firm. Today, we're talking about, boy, what people have been talking about for the longest time, Sarah, Sarah Palin and her oh. talking. I mean, you know, come on. Well, you sound so, enthusiastic. Well, I mean, it's... What's it? She listen. She's an enthusiastic person. She creates a kind of an energy about okay. about those in the group, and when you talk about her, I mean, she's new to the scene. Mm -hmm. uh, what so about I, her latest? Uh, I know you did a wonderful, wonderful piece on her latest press conference when she announced that she wasn't resigning. that she was going to resign. Yeah, yeah, what are your thoughts about that? You had a lot of thoughts. Well, you know. The question was, why is she doing such a thing in the middle of a term, and does it hurt mm -hmm. her, her, her future and so forth? Why would she do such a thing? Well, okay, there may maybe they've got something on her that we don't know. Okay. okay? I, I don't really think that's it. I think that this is a woman who, if you look back at her, her history, her whole okay. career, she was nothing but a winner all the yeah. time. Mm -hmm. She was a beauty pageant queen. Right. Uh, she was a star on the basketball team. Mm -hmm. uh, she went to college. She was a star on the TV show mm -hmm, that they did mm -hmm. in college. Uh, she, she, she had children, so on the PTA, she became a spokesperson of the PTA, stood out. That gave her a platform to run for council. She became a speaker on the council, mm -hmm. whatever, mayor, governor, yeah. all of, everything she's ever done, she's won. Right. She's a very attractive individual, yes. to say nothing about being an attractive politician, public mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. and private person. Mm -hmm. So, why not? Look, Republicans had what? They had John McCain. They had to start to go, yeah. godly old guy. <laughs> and they had to get some. She was perfect, perfect match, except mm -hmm. that, except that, because she was all the things he wasn't, except that she had never been in this particular limelight before. It's a huge spotlight. She was not accustomed to having people go like this. Yeah. Right, picking her apart, literally. No. And, yep. and yep. her children. Yep, yep. And her children. Oh, listen, she, yeah. all her life, all she had yeah. was victory and mm -hmm. support. And do you know who I am kind of thing? You know, I'm rightfully so. She deserved it all. That limelight was entirely too much for her. So I think what happened with her, I think really that this is the first time in her life that Sarah Barracuda was not able to be Barracuda-ish enough to be a winner. And she mm -hmm. didn't like being picked on and thrown mm -hmm. down and beat up and disrespected. Never in her life. So she said, look, okay. I had enough of this. I'm done. I just, I've had enough of this. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm taking my stuff and I'm going home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's what she did. Yeah. So I want to weigh in. I don't know. You can tell me maybe why this is happening. I'm finding her less compelling to watch and listen to. Okay, one thing I know has happened. Less compelling than she used to be? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like her voice has gotten whinier more of the time. And her language, because, let's face it, she doesn't have the, the speech writers around, I do feel it, it is looser. And But then sometimes she'll come back with sort of a, yeah, let's win kind of statement, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's cheerleaderish. So there's something that isn't as consistent, isn't as well packaged, and maybe I was responding favorably to, to her combination of competence and great personality. And now yeah. I'm just finding her perhaps a little bit more quirky than I had originally. Well, I think everybody, we, we had to look at her as the potential leader of the free world. Uh -huh. And, I mean, she fell down there. She just doesn't have that kind of qualification yet. She mm -hmm. just doesn't. And so when people looked at her perhaps the mm -hmm. way you were through those eyes as opposed to the cheerleader, which she was great at, suddenly there was a question mark there. She wasn't quite the star. Mm -hmm. And that realization came to her, and I think that's why she backed out. She said, look, I'm, I, I'm a star. People don't get that? Fine, I quit. Mm -hmm. Though there's not as many clips as there used to be of Hillary Clinton, I have noticed a positive change because Hillary used oh. to be watching every word and making sure she was very deliberate. Now she's just looser. Her hair doesn't look as nice, <laughs> but her speech, Dennis, I think is way smoother than it was before. Because she's not in competition, do you think? I, what is I, it? I think she's just simply more relaxed. Because, she's not watching uh, every word. Because she's not in competition, right. maybe. There is a disadvantage of not being relaxed, though, and I hate to pick on women in terms of their appearance, but, oh, the color of her pantsuits has oh, got please. to change. <laughs> How about the style? I don't think so. I, the style's I, not working I, for not, her. I don't know. She could so, use an advisor, a fashion advisor. Yes. Yeah, so, think. Nancy Pelosi, on the other hand, is very well groomed. Perfect. She's a very well groomed, very accomplished professional. 
you know, we're not, we're not and by the yeah. way, we're not talking about the politics for these folks. We're talking about their effectiveness as communicators, right. not whether we agree with them philosophically, politically, right? Right. The first thing Nancy does in the morning is go to the hairdresser, and is it shows. Right? It's not a bad thing I to do. I know that. I think I'm going to do that before our next segment. <laughs> Tune in again next time. We'll find out. You notice yeah, really, what's I any mean different. It. Until next time, I'm Dennis Becker. This is Lori Schlaff. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>